Well hello everybody, it's been a very long time since I filmed a makeup tutorial but I'm back with one today. I actually had to have a quick look on YouTube to see what was being done. I felt very out of the loop and out of touch with what's going on right now with beauty videos, especially with the whole Instagram makeup trend with kind of halo looks and loads of highlighting and contouring. So yeah, I've decided to go completely different to what's going on right now. Um, I'm going to be doing the Queen's look from The Crown. I think Claire Foy does an absolutely amazing job in the show and the trailer for season two came out a few days ago so I thought it was a good time to do it. I think it's a very classically beautiful look, very refined, very polished and just a very simple look to do as well. So yeah, let's get on with the tutorial, tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. So I already went ahead and primed my skin. I used the YSL Touche Eclair Blur Primer just to have a nice smooth base to work with. And then I'm going to be using uh, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. I use it in the shade N2. And you want to choose something which is going to allow your skin to still show through. It's not a super high coverage um, foundation look, so you can always just sheer out something if you have more of a full coverage one, or maybe go for a tinted moisturiser. I'm just going to apply it with the pad that comes with it, and I just kind of like to roll this onto the skin, kind of working from the middle outwards. So our skin is pretty perfect looking but it's not overly done. You can still tell that it's real skin underneath and it's just not clattered in makeup so kind of less is more but I kind of have a lot of pigmentation and blemishes going on right now so I'm going to use a little bit more just to cover that up and fake the perfect skin that the Queen has. Just remember to bring some down the neck as well just so that everything blends seamlessly. So I've just spent a bit of time blending that out, making sure it all looks pretty seamless and then I'm just going to go in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is one I always use in the shade Fair, the lightest one they do. I'm just going to apply this to any areas that need a little bit extra coverage and also under my eyes to brighten up under there. I'm going to blend in all these crazy looking concealer spots. I'm going to use the Zoeva Concealer Buffer, this brush here. And I just like to use a circular motion and just lightly swirl it out so that it blends with the foundation. I'm just going to pop some under the eyes as well. I was actually reading a few interviews with the makeup artist that was on the show and they kind of left some darker circles in when the Queen gets older just to kind of show the strain of the crown um, and the pressures about how that gets to her and just kind of to age her as well a little bit and they also said that when she's younger they try to keep the skin lighter and kind of dewier whereas when she gets older it's more of a powdered look so I thought that was interesting you can obviously kind of adapt it how you want if you want to go full on <laughs> queen maybe you want to leave those dark circles in but I would normally apply concealer for an everyday look anyway I am going to use a little bit of powder just to set the look, but I don't want to go too far and give that older, more powdery look. I want to stay more youthful, so I'm going to use one which is a little bit highlighting as well. It's from the NARS One Shocking Moment Palette, this one here. Um, it doesn't actually have a name, it's just the one that comes with the Paloma um, contour, so it's just this one here. So it doesn't really have any shimmer or anything in it like that. It's just this kind of a brightening powder, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on my brush and I'm just going to use that mainly through the centre of my face and also under the eyes to brighten up under there. And I am going to use a little bit of contour, not that it really shows in the makeup that she's really overly contoured or sculptured or anything like that, but I have quite a round face so to kind of achieve the similar look um, I just need to do a bit of sculpting to slim down my very round cheeks so yeah I'm going to use the um, contour that's from the NARS palette with a Zoeva face shaping brush. So just going to pop a little bit on there and then suck my cheekbones and then just apply it through here and then up to the temples. So you don't want to make this look too obvious. Um, we're not going for that Instagram makeup with loads of highlight or anything, just very natural but because I have quite round cheeks, yeah, I just want to slim it down a little bit so that it looks the same really blending this as I go. And I took hardly any product on the brush to begin with. And I'm going to do the same just along my jawline as well to kind of sharpen that up. 
And then also just a bit down the sides of my nose as well. Um, these steps are all totally optional. You can just skip these if you want to go for a more um, natural and quick look to do. But if you want to be super accurate, then yeah, a little bit of contouring helps. The Queen is quite well known for her blush in real life as well as on the show, so I'm going to be using this tart one called Parte. <laughs> this is it here. It's just a nice um, a rosy pink colour, but again, no shimmer. It's nice and matte. We don't want any sparkles going on with this look. So I'm just going to apply to the upper of my cheeks and then blend back. And all of this with just a nice light touch as well. Don't want to overdo it. Okay, onto the eyes, and there's not a huge amount going on, but there is definitely something. So I'm going to prime them with Urban Decay Primer Potion, as always. <laughs> so just pop a little bit on the lids. And then I'm actually going to go back in with that um, powder that we used um, to do the kind of not really highlighting but a setting to this one here so it doesn't have any shimmer it's just like a very light powder i'm going to pop that all over the lids okay and then i'm going to take a little bit of naked this is from the Urban Decay naked palette the original one just on that same brush just a tiny bit and i'm just going to pop this through the crease just for a little bit of definition and there's not really much in terms of liner, but she definitely has that very bright blue eyed look. So ideally you'd have a nude coloured eyeliner, which you can pop along the lower waterline. But I don't have one with me, so I'm actually just going to take um, a little bit of Virgin, which is this lighter shade here. So this does have a tiny bit of shim, just because we really want to open up the eyes. I'm just going to run this right under my eyes. So it's quite subtle but it does open up the eyes more and then I'm just going to go in with the same liner brush and you want kind of a brown, preferably matte again but I don't have one in this palette so I'm just going to go with this one which is Dark Horse. It's just a very small amount and you don't want this on the waterline, you want it underneath the lashes. brows and brows today are quite different to what they were at that time they're much slimmer in the crown and whereas today we're kind of into that thicker look so mine are a little bit thick for this kind of look so I'm just gonna work with what I've got I don't want to pluck too much out so I'm just gonna brush them through and you want a quite a defined um, arch very refined look but not overly filled in so I'm just going to take this is a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Finer in Dark Brunette. I'm basically just going to pop this through the arch just to create a little bit more definition there. I'm not really going to fill in too much because I think it will look a bit heavy. This brow is like a completely different shape to the other one. Let's brush it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to set them with um, some brow gel. This is one by Benefit. The me brown so just because you don't want them moving want a very polished look look a bit lighter in real life than they do on camera but anyway I'm just going to finish off with a bit of concealer I always like to do this after I've done my brows just to get rid of any redness because I get a bit red around here and also creates a bit more of a defined look I'm just taking the concealer buffer like I used earlier for my actual concealer. I'm just going to buff this in. I 
Okay, then I'm going to use an eyelash curler. This is a Shiramura one. Just to open up the eyes even more. And the scar is really not very obvious in the photos um, that I'm using for this look. So if you want anything too volumizing, I'm going to use this Buxom one. This is like a little sample one. I'm just going to pop just one coat on just to keep them curled. And just on the bottom lashes as well, just a tiny bit. Okay, we just need some lipstick to finish it off. And the Queen is very well known for her lipstick in real life as well as in the show. And it's kind of interesting, they kind of mix up the shade of the lipstick in the show depending on what the scene needs. Sometimes it's more of a pinky red, other times it needs more red. So I'm going to try and go somewhere in the middle just to kind of give you a like generalized version of the look so i'm going to mix two shades for this first one is kiss kiss bang bang by mark jacobs and the second one is cruella by nars both of these were sephora gifts over the years so that's why they're minis so i'm going to start off with um i think cruella by nars so we're going to go for a little bit of red first Maybe just in the centre and then I'm going to kind of blend that out. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of red on there. I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs shade on top. And I'm just going to blot it a little bit. Together, I'm going to highlight the cupid's bow with that virgin shade we used on the um, eyes earlier, just with a liner brush. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I think it's a very refined and beautiful look, especially for every day. Um, please let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see and I'll get on those. And if you didn't know already, I have launched a new website called The Adventure Chapters. I'm posting a new video on the first day of each month with each chapter. So the first one was Chapter 1 University, second one was Chapter 2 New York. So if you want to check them out, I'll link them in the description box down below. But also check out my website where I have travel itineraries and pieces of advice like packing tips, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, check that out and feel free to leave any suggestions for content on there as well. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again very soon. Bye!